Connections Place is a clubhouse in Victoria for people with mental health challenges to find friendship, education, and employment. And that vital support continues even through this pandemic. Veronica Cooper has more. Yeah, so I primarily finger pain. Robbie DeRose is right where he feels best. And I like splashes. But he's not in his home creating this masterpiece. I use all parts of my hand to... He's at Victoria's Connections Place. There we go. Connections Place is a safe space. It's a clubhouse for people who have uh, experienced profound impacts of mental health uh, to get their lives back, to work on recovery, to take part in work-related activities, and to find belonging and community. It was in 2013 my youngest son became ill with a mental illness and I struggled to find some programs for him that were, he felt comfortable in. Jackie Powell learned about Clubhouse International from a neighbour. There are more than 300 clubhouses around the world. And he was telling me about a model in Winnipeg that helped his brother so much. Jackie, her husband and her son did further research. And we all said, this is it. This is what we need in our city. And it's been non-stop from there. Opened in February 2019, members apply with a referral from a health professional. Then membership is free and for life and you can contribute and take part as little or as much as you'd like. Now with 130 members and growing, when the doors had to close mid-March, the clubhouse turned virtual. In the month of April alone, we made 176 contacts through our Zoom meetings. We had well over 145 uh, phone calls. When you think about the great reduction in services, the limited ability to connect in our community, folks who are feeling the impacts of mental health are that much more impacted and they really need this point of contact to stay connected, to work on their wellness so that they don't fall into deeper or greater mental health issues. Yeah. The Rapid Relief Fund was a huge help. We received $37,000 to put towards our outreach program, to increase the number of contacts, to increase the number of virtual meetings that we were able to put forward uh, on a week-to-week -week basis. And this is the part where I would get people to guess what it's going to be. Which brings us back to Connections Place member and artist Robbie DeRose, who found a special way to connect with fellow members, Art Attack. Made a poster for it. We put it on the Connections Place Facebook group. And uh, yeah, people tuned in. <laughs> and yes, I did it in my living room, uh, my apartment, and uh, they were in their apartment. And it just worked really well. And it, it broke the isolation for myself. And uh, creativity helps me when I'm feeling unwell. The clubhouse model is based on strengths, finding people's strengths. And if they have a strength with art, like Robbie just showed us, <laughs> we want to encourage that. Connections Place hopes to reopen to their members the second week of June. We have purchased a lot of PPE. We've made a lot of changes to the clubhouse. So we're doing two shifts. We're having members show up in the morning and then we'll serve lunch and then we'll do a short close down and then we'll have a different group of members show up in the afternoon. Learn more at connectionsplace.org. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.